Our top story now at five. Authorities are concluding the search efforts for a missing 51 year old woman for the day. It has now been one week since Suzanne Simpson was reported missing. Within the last hour, crews wrapped up their investigations at a landfill on the far east side. Ken's Five reporter Meredith Haas joins us live from the scene. And Meredith, are officials giving any updates on the investigation this afternoon? Yeah, Deb, good afternoon. So all we know is that authorities have moved their investigation to this east side landfill. They just wrapped up for the day about an hour ago, but they do tell me that they plan to be back here first thing tomorrow. Now, as for why they came out here, what led them to this landfill, we do not know, but we're working to find out that information. Now, if they found anything or didn't find anything, we're working to find out that information as well tonight. Now, there is still a question of Suzanne's missing phone as authorities have brought it up before and have yet to locate it. We just know DPS along with the Almost Park Police have a command center set up at the bottom of this landfill and up above is where a section of dirt covering trash is marked off with caution tape. Again, they will not tell us what led them here in the first place, but we do know their last search area was in Bernie off I-10 in South Main Street. Now, Suzanne Simpson was reported missing the night of October 7th by her husband, Brad Simpson. According to an arrest affidavit, the two were seen fighting the night before at the Argyle and on their lawn the night of October 6th. Now today Brad sits in the Bear County Jail on a $2 million bond. His bond hearing was actually canceled today and he is facing two charges including an assault charge. Now last night the family of Suzanne Simpson held a vigil. Suzanne's mother Barbara says she's lost hope. I'd tell Brad that I would like to visit with him and ask him why. What happened? I'm, I'm shocked. I had a lot of admiration for him. I still plan to be his friend, and I don't know if the alcohol that they had at the party was his problem. Now, Barbara also mentioned how she had spoken to Suzanne Sunday night, the night that she was reported missing, that Suzanne told her Brad had hurt her, and when Barbara asked Brad about it, she said that he got defensive. Now at this point, again, the Almost Park Police and DPS, they have called off the search here at the landfill on the Far East Side of San Antonio. But again, they plan to pick that search up tomorrow. Reporting on the Far East Side, I'm Meredith Haas, Ken's 5.